pointers. A pointer is a variable that points to a memory address location. The general syntax for declaring a pointer is to provide the data type of the pointer, followed by an asterisk. This asterisk is called the pointer operator. The pointer operator simply indicates that the variable is a pointer. Then you provide the pointer name. The general syntax for declaring a pointer is to first provide a data type for the pointer. Following the pointer's data type is an asterisk which is attached to the beginning of the pointer's name. The asterisk is called the pointer operator. The pointer operator simply indicates that the variable is a pointer. Next you provide the pointer's name, which follows the same rules as naming variables. When a pointer is declared, Memory space is allocated in RAM the same as any other variable. Here we've declared the pointer count with an int data type. We haven't assigned a value to the pointer, but 3106 has been allocated as the pointer's address location in RAM where the value will be stored. The data type of the pointer indicates what type of data the memory location contains. Since count has an int data type, the object that it points to must also have an int data type. Here we've declared the variable named variable2 with an int data type. We've assigned it the value of 4. 2802 has been allocated as the memory location in RAM that will store the value. Remember that pointers point to the address location of an object. To assign a value to the pointer, you must use the address of operator. Here we've assigned the address of variable 2 to our pointer count. Can you determine what is the value of count? The value of count is the address of variable 2. To access the value of the address stored in the pointer, you would need to use the pointer operator. The pointer count points to the address of variable 2, 
which is 2802. The memory location 2802 stores the value 4. Pointers can also point to other pointers. Here we've declared the variable a with an int data type. We've assigned it the value of 3. 2708 has been allocated as its memory address location. We also declared the pointer b with an int data type. Pointer B contains the address of variable A. We also declared a pointer called C with an int data type. Pointer C contains the value of pointer B, which is the address of variable A. Note, when assigning a pointer to another pointer, the address of operator is not used. Can you determine what is the value of A, B, and C? The value of A is 3. The value of B is 2708. The value of C is also 2708. What is the value of B and C using the pointer operator? Pointer B points to the address of variable A, which is 2708. Using the pointer operator with pointer B displays the value stored at the address location 2708. The value of pointer B using the pointer operator is 3. Using the pointer operator with pointer C also displays the value stored at the address location 2708. Pointer C points to the value of pointer B, which is the address location of variable A. Using the pointer operator, we access the value at the address location 2708, which is 3. Pointers and arrays share a close relationship. Here we declare the array, array sample, with a char data type. B 
there are five elements in this array. Now we've declared a pointer named pointer sample that also has a char data type. Pointer sample is assigned the address of the first element in array sample. Note, the address of operator is not used when assigning arrays to pointers. The cout statement displays the value located at the address of the first element in the array. To access other members of the array, use the addition operator. Pointer sample plus 1 will give the same results as array sample with subscript 0 plus 1. Notice that pointer sample plus 1 is located inside parentheses. This concludes our section on pointers. Next we will be discussing enumerations.